First tonight, breaking news in a case the Target 12 investigators have been tracking from the beginning. The head of the Rhode Island chapter of the Hells Angels has changed his plea and will serve time in prison. The case stems from a broad daylight shooting two years ago that investigators say happened because of a fight between the Hells Angels and another man. Target 12 investigator Tim White was at court today. He joins us now with the exclusive details. In September, Joseph Lancia told the judge he wanted to take this case to trial, but today in Providence Superior Court, he pleaded no contest to three charges in a plea deal with prosecutors. Lancia was sentenced to five years in prison. With about a dozen full patch members of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club in the courtroom on hand, 30 year old Joseph Lancia changed his plea from not guilty to no contest. State police say in June 2019, Lancia fired a gun at this truck as it drove by the Hells Angels headquarters. It was driven by Richard Starnino, who investigators have said was a prospect for the biker club, but got into a beef with Lancia. The state police raided the clubhouse on Messer Street in Providence the day of the shooting. Shooting. Superior Court Judge Kristen Rogers sentenced Lancia to five years in prison with 10 years of probation on the gun case and a suspended three year sentence after he knocked out an off duty bouncer at the Cadillac Lounge Strip Club while on bail. Lancia must return to court on February 18th to begin his prison term. Rogers had a stern warning for him. Should you not appear in a timely manner, and I'm talking five minutes late, or if there are any violations of your release. Lancia would have to serve 18 years behind bars. Outside court, Lancia declined to comment. His attorney is Joseph Ficola. Joe, why did your client change his plea? We thought it was in his best interest to do so, and he wanted to put these matters behind him. Also changing his plea, Hells Angels member Lance Imore, who prosecutors say removed surveillance equipment from the clubhouse to dispose of video evidence of the shooting. Shortly after the hearing, Attorney General Peter Nerona said in a statement in part, regardless of what the references are in pop culture, the only thing the defendant and his association with a known criminal gang represents is a risk to the safety of Rhode Islanders. Again, Lancey is scheduled to report to prison next month. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.